Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your cardio conditioning hit workout. This is day seven of your fresh challenge. But this is also a great standalone workout that you can do at any time. We're keeping it all body weight and of course I'm gonna give you lots of different options to work to your fitness level. We're gonna get hit, we're gonna get conditioning and we're gonna get those muscles working hard. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's go ahead and start getting warm. Go ahead and move your body in a little march, a little jog, whatever feels good for you. Shake everything out. Try to let go of the tension from the day or from the week and just be here present with me today for this workout. You can start rolling those shoulders. We're gonna keep everything in a standing position today except one little move towards the end where of course, I will give you lots of options. So if you've done my workouts before, you know that I always say, be where you are today. So that is where you are in your fitness journey and also where you are today because it's different for everyone. Day to day, season to season. The most important thing is that you showed up here today. If you showed up for this workout, you are already succeeding. So remember that if you showed up today, you are successful. Let's open up those arms right through here. Here's what we got today. So cardio conditioning HIT. HIT is high intensity interval training. So what that means is we're working at higher intensities and then followed by lower intensities to keep the heart rate going up and down. That is where we see the most results when it comes to getting the most out of our cardio training round through and rounded up. The other thing that we're gonna get is we are going to keep moving for longer intervals in this workout. So hold it here, roll those shoulders, stretch out your back. Normally where we would get a 30 or 40 or minute long interval and then get a break, we're gonna keep moving through several 30 second intervals. They will go high and low. Standing here around cat to cow. So it's just a standing cat cow. So you'll start with a low impact for 30 seconds. Then you will take it up in intensity for 30 seconds and then you will go true high intensity. Let's tap it back right here. Sometimes high impact, but not always. And of course I give you options. So we're increasing the intensity every 30 seconds and then you go right into another low intensity. Don't worry, you're gonna be able to follow me because things are pretty similar. Go ahead, stretch it down, open up that hip. You can drop that knee if that's good for you. If you need to grab onto something, take it down right here, reach that arm up, stretch through you need to stay up top, that works too. So I'm gonna talk you through it as we go, but just know we will have a few less rest. Go ahead and take it here. Of course, if you need more of a breather, take it on your own, drop that knee. You can always hit pause, you can always sit out on an interval, but the idea is that conditioning comes from the hit. When you look at athletes who are doing games or matches that are minutes, hours long, the conditioning is how they get through that. So when you also look, slowly round it up right here. Now let's take it right here. When you also look at what we do in life, we need that conditioning, that cardio conditioning. It just means getting ourselves in a place where we have that endurance, that stamina to push through. So this workout is gonna work high intensity interval training, but a little bit different than we normally do where we get more rest. We're gonna push through about four and a half, five minute sets, 30 seconds at a time, varying our intensity and our levels, and then we get a breather. Sounds more complicated than it is. I promise you, it's gonna go quickly. Go ahead and grab a sip of water if you need it to start. So everything will build on that low impact version that we start with, back to basics. We're gonna start this first round with those little tap outs that we do. So you're gonna reach over, tap out, then we'll up the intensity, then we'll take into some jacks. Here we go, 30 seconds. Reach over, right through here. So, start low impact. Remember what I always say, intensity comes with intention. So, even if we go up to a higher impact or higher intensity and you don't wanna jump or you don't wanna go higher impact, increase that intention in what you're doing, that power, that speed, that range of motion, so many ways to up your intensity. All right, so now speaking of, we're gonna make it a little bit of that tap out right through here, right? So if you can, 
this 30 seconds right here. You can always keep it low impact, back to basics. You always have that option. And again, if you need more of a breather, take it on your own. Whew. We're gonna feel conditioned at the end of this workout. All right, so a little higher intensity. Get ready. In five seconds, we are taking it to full jacks if you want. Take it here in three, two, one. Right here, you have 30 seconds. You don't have to go super fast. In fact, I would rather you have really strong jacks, strong arms, strong legs. Again, you can keep it with that mid or that low impact. You do you, 15 seconds. Then we're not getting a break, but we will go back to a low impact, low intensity. Yes, you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna take it across, just reach across. So this is your breather, right? Active recovery, active rest. So it is a lower intensity and you decide how low you need it to be. If you need it to be really slow, that's okay too. You wanna keep it here. So essentially we're doing what we did without the jacks. We're gonna take it here. Whew. Breathe or a different kind of jack, right? <sighs> Let's take it. Little hop, little hop. So, whew. Breathe right through here. Keep it going. <sighs> so a little higher intensity. You can, remember, you can up your speed. You can up your range of motion. We're going across our body. This is also really good mobility, right? We got the stretch over here. Now we're getting the stretch here. We got those hip openers. Hips are gonna feel really open after this round. All right, team. So watch me. You're gonna take it cross jacks right here. Cross, cross. You can also do here if this is better for you or keep it here. You do you. Huh. Huh. If you wanna cross your feet with it, if that doesn't confuse you, you can do that as well. Out, cross, out, cross, out, cross, out, cross. Up to you. Cross jacks. Yes, team. For three, two, one more version of this. We're gonna reach it down. Reach it down, take it low impact. This is your last three sets of 30. Then we get a real break. I told you it's gonna go fast, right? If you can, really increase that range of motion to get that stretch. Right? Yes. Breathe. Slow it down, but keep it moving. That's the idea. Conditioning. When we're doing a sport, we have highs and lows. We have sprints. We have jogs. So that's what we're doing here. Are you ready? Little taps. 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 Yes. You can. Ha. Last set of 30 is coming up. This is not it. Ha. But. We're just gonna get low and we're gonna tap it out almost like a side lunge, a little jump lunge, right? And breathe. But for here, tap it out, reach it low, reach it low. All right, team, watch me. This is your last 30. You're gonna here to here. Join me right here. Tap out, tap out, tap down, tap out. You can also just keep it here or a little tap. Up to you, but finish strong. These last 20 seconds. Breather is coming. Huh, huh. Yes, also getting that agility. It's athlete. 10 seconds. Can you get low with it too? Feel those hips. Five, four, three, two. And breathe. Catch your breath. 30 seconds to breathe. Real rest. All right, team. So that's what it looks like. Three rounds of 30 seconds. Three rounds of three rounds of 30 seconds, I should say. But that first one, we always take it low intensity, low impact. So you come back to that as your active recovery. This one, we're gonna do some versions of some squats and some knees. Catch that breath. Join me here, we're gonna take it down and up. Here we go. Down and reach. Sit low and reach. Now, maybe you've got some soreness from a workout you did yesterday in that lower body. You decide how low you wanna get, but also think of it as mobility, especially this first round, right? You're here. What we're gonna add is a little knee coming across right through here. So get ready, join me here. Squat, knee, squat, 
knee. You can have hands behind the head. You can take it slow or fast. You can get low or high, whatever you want. But power up out of the squat. Take that knee across. We got core right here. Down. Our last round of this, we're taking it to a squat jump. So you can actually jump or you can just come up with that power squat up on your toes. Five more here. You can also stay here or just your squat. Three, two, down and up. So squat jump or power squat up on your toes. Either way, I want that intention to get that intensity. After this, a little breather. We're gonna take it down right here. Down and reach. Up. Yes, you can. You got five, four, three, two, side knee. Give that squat a break. Take it here. Yes, here. And here. Whew. Breathe. Yes. I'm doing a little circle with my arms. We're giving the squat a break, but it's coming back. You can keep it slow. Think about mobility again. And side knee for obliques and hips. We're gonna add that plie to it. In three, two, watch me. Take it down, power it up. Take it down. Yes, low to high. Again, you decide how low you're gonna get. Toes are out and then pull it up strong with that upper body and also with those obliques. Down, circle. For me, the circle helps me get my bearings and really pull side to side for abs. Are we ready? Here we go. Squat it, jump it up. Yes, you can. The jump is on the side knee. If you wanna keep it just like you just did, plie, side knee. Let's get it done right here. Breathe. Yes. Boom. 10 seconds. You got this team. We got five, four, three, two, front knees right here. Right, just pull them in. Nice and easy, low intensity. You can even take it slower or lower. You need those knees grounded. I know, I feel that in my heart rate too. Yes, breathe. We're gonna take it to one side. We got two rounds of high intensity. Watch me here. Knee, side, join me. One side right here. Hup. Hup. Yes, you can keep it here or here. Jump it or side knee, yes. Breathe, I know. Hup. We're gonna get that same thing on the other side. Tripped you on this one because we got two rounds of the high intensity or whatever works for you. High intensity for you. It's gonna be different for everybody. For three, two, one. Other side, pull it up. Side, remember you can go low and slow or here, here or jump. This is it, this is your last 30 seconds. Then we grab some water, we're moving on. I know, it's a lot to think about. Take it up. Yes, keep it moving. Breathe. We got three, two, one. Boom, water. Ha. How we doing team? I know, I know. It's a lot to think about, but just stay with me. And the name of the game is just keep moving. You know our rules, stay safe, keep moving. Keep moving and then if you need a break, take a break. But even if you just come right back to that very first version and keep it slow and low, that is totally fine. All right, team, we're bringing them up right here. We're gonna jab. Take it here, punch. All right, if you are not a kickboxing person, you can just do reaches, that's okay too. It's one round and we're gonna do some punches. We're gonna keep them quick. I don't care what it looks like. We just want strong punches or strong reaches. Think about that core and that upper body. What we got here is, we're gonna go one, two, three, and knee. One, two, 
three, join me. You can do it just like that. And knee, one, two, three, and up. Or one, two, three, huh. one, two, three. Either way, just get some punches and some knees. I don't care if you get the right counts. Doesn't matter. We're getting cardio conditioning, upper and lower. Watch me, we're gonna turn to one side. We got our orthodox and southpaw. One, two, three, one, two, three, knee. Turn it around. One, two, three, knee. And here, join me. Step or jump. One, two, three, hup. You can just step it. One, two, three, knee. Walk it around. One, two, three, hup. And here. Yes. Five seconds. Woo! Yes. Let's take it to some uppers. All right, uppercuts. Nice and slow. You can go here. Here, we're keeping it forward. I know normally we angle it, but for what we're doing today, yes. Up and under. This is your breather, right? And I want you to feel like when you get to that first round, that you need a little bit of a breather. So again, whatever you need to do to up that intensity, we're gonna take it quick uppers, quick feet, here or here, join me. So you can just march it and roll those uppers, or you can go quick feet. Keep it low and grounded, right? I'm not stomping, I'm keeping it nice and light. And again, it's agility, I just want those feet moving fast in a way that's good for you, and rolling those punches, mental agility as well, right? Ha. Yes, and breathe. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go three uppers, turn it to the other side, just like we did with the jabs. Here we go. One, two, three, huh. Huh. Don't worry about the knee. You can one, two, three, turn it, turn it, or go even slower than that, as long as you are moving and getting that intensity. You may turn, you might be getting super high intensity and a really strong jump, but at half the speed, I want you to have good form, so it doesn't matter to me, right here. Hooks, hooks, yes, breathe. Up and around, nice and easy. Turn the knees and the hips, think about that. Shoulders back, core engaged. As we're tired, this is our last round of three. So stay with me, yes. What we're gonna work into, is two hooks, two front kicks. Those kicks can look what, like whatever you need them to be. They can be a push kick or a front kick. Join me. We got hook, hook, kick, and kick. Or hook, hook, push kick, push kick. If that's not right for you, you just keep the hooks or you can even do knees. Hook, hook, kick, and kick. Kick, get my ponytail in my eyes. Always a problem. Keep it moving. Hup, hup, kick, and kick, hup, hup. So we're gonna go three hooks, then jump rope all to the front. Three, two, one, three, two, one. Hup, 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 skip it. Yes, skip it. You can turn it if you want. Hup. If that's your jam, and you feel like turning it, or keep it forward. This last one, tap it out. Last full round. We're gonna take it into a little skater. We got a few options. We're starting with just our basic tap behind. You know it, you love it. Cool, my microphone here. So let's tap behind, then we'll move into a skater. In three, two, tap, tap. I like to, again, have big arms so I really get mobility. Let's try to get those shoulders up and really tap that hip to the back. We're gonna take it up to that full skater in 15 seconds, so give yourself this time to get a little cardio mobility, because then we're really going for it with this round, all right? Punches were a little bit of a break, but we're gonna go for it. Cardio conditioning hit, and your hit starts now. Take it here, 
And here, if you can jump it with that skater, great. If you just need to step it, but a little quicker, a little higher intensity, also great. Just get that skater, land into that hip, and get moving with higher intensity. Whew. Breathe. You wanna to touch it down to get a little more legs, that works too, if you wanna keep it higher, and just land soft. Here's what we're going into. We're going into a true skater bound. Little jump, join me. Breathe. If that's not right, I just want you to bound and bound. You can go here or here, here or just here or just your skater. You do you for 10 more seconds. Skater bound, skater bound, hop, skater bound, hop, five, four, three, tap it back, tap. Tapping back, reach. Again, mobility, not a lunge yet, but it's coming. I told you you're gonna like this round, right? Core zipped, especially as we get tired. Reach for mobility, reach. Here's what we got. Three tap lunge. So tap, tap, lunge. Or tap, tap, join me. Tap, tap, lunge. Three, two, get low. Three, two, get low. Or tap, tap, get low. Tap. This works too. As long as you're getting that intensity. Whew. And switching your feet. Tap, tap. You know what's coming. Just your lunge jump. Here we go. Here to here. If that's not right for you, I just want you to alternate or keep that tap, tap lunge. But let's make those legs burn. Let's drive that heart rate up because we got a little side to side coming that'll cool it down, all right? We're so close. Drive it up. Power either way. Just like that squat jump. Even if your power is coming from no jump, just down, up, down, up. Side to side right here. Side lunge right here. Woo! Shake it out. I know. If you need even less, you keep it a little higher. You do you. This is conditioning. We're staying on the field, but that play is over. So you don't have to sprint. You're jogging back on defense. You're defending the goal. Whatever it is you're doing, you're about to serve the tennis ball. Come into a big play. Here we go, side, shuffle, shuffle. Either way, up your intensity, even if you're not jumping. Can you get a little lower? Can you shuffle through? I love it if you can, but if you're just doing side lunge to side lunge, just pick up that intensity in a way that's good for you. After this, we're just taking it to a regular shuffle, so no more side lunge. Legs get a little breather. But we're going quick. Watch me right here. So shuffle, tap, shuffle, tap. Double step works too, right here. Or you just do what you just did. Side lunge or side lunge shuffle. Breathe. Quick feet. You can just, you don't have to do anything with your arms. But this is it, team. of water. All right, team. Here's what we got. Those are your four circuits. I think we got time for a bonus circuit. It is short. It is only. Catch your breath. Four rounds of 30. I know it sounds like a lot, but the first two are your low impact and your cardio mobility. So we're going to start with a world's greatest stretch. Do that stretch either high or low. Then we're gonna walk it back to the high plank, if that is good for you. Then we're popping it back. Then we're going full burpee if you want it, all the way down, all the way up. I will give you options throughout. If that is not right for you, you just keep the lunge and stretch, and you can add a hinge to it. You can stay up top the whole time. If you're able, let's get a little core and get down on the floor. Here we go, we got world's greatest stretch. Step back, hand down if you can. Here we go. Step. 
reach. Step it up right here, down, reach. I want you to really think of it as mobility, but power up to the ceiling. Open up those hips, they've worked hard. Right, gradually bringing that heart rate back up. Our next one is gonna increase the intensity from that and we're gonna walk it all the way back. So we got four rounds of 30. They each increase as they go. But I promise you, this is it. One more. All right, team. Walk it back. So you're going down. Walk back. Slow and controlled. I still want you to take it as mobility. Walk back. Walk it in. And up. If that's not right for you, you just keep it. World's greatest stretch. High or low. But if you can, walk it back. Yes, you're going to feel those legs. Yes, you're going to feel that core kick in. But let's get it done. Down. Here we go, team. If you want, keep it there or pop it back. Pop it up. Pop it back. Pop it up. With or without that jump at the top, you can still walk it back. Walk it in or jump it back. Walk it in or walk it out. Jump it in. Whatever works for you. Yes, I'm breathing so I can keep talking you through this because we got our full burpee coming. 10 seconds. So all we need for that full burpee is you can add a little push up or you can go all the way to the ground with those hands, push yourself up. Watch me one time. Here, power it up, power it up. Any version of that, let's do it. 30 seconds. You can also just take it, push up on your knees, take it in. Or again, you can walk it back, walk it up. Whatever is good for you. You got 10. Stay with me, because this is really it. Cardio conditioning, you're doing it. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> yes. Woo! Side to side. Now we go back. We're done. But I want us to give ourselves a second to tap it out. How you feel, team? I told you it would go by quickly, right? Water if you need it, towel if you need it, but try to keep those feet moving. For just a few, right? All right. So now you see why that works, right? We're moving fast. It's as if we had four five minute quarters of a basketball game or a football game, right? Obviously in those games, there's penalties, there's out of bounds, there's whistles, there's flags, there's things like that that stop the game. But it's as if you had to play a solid straight five minutes, four and a half, let's get that hamstring stretch. But you needed that endurance for it to be all of those different things, right? You gotta sprint to the ball. You gotta get back on defense. You gotta wait. You gotta be in that ready position. All of those things that we're doing in sports, that is conditioning, right? And you gotta be able to do it while you're doing agility moves, while you're doing strength moves, while you're doing power moves, right? That's what we love about a workout like this. And this is why, you know, I try to put cardio and power and agility in all of our strength workouts as well. We need that for everyday life. Think of all the ways that you need power. Think of all the ways you need agility. You're getting out of the way of things. You're jumping over things. Maybe it's toys like my house. Maybe it's something in the road. Maybe it's putting something up on a shelf. You need power, you need agility, you need strength, and you need conditioning. You might be doing it for a long time. If you can, tilt that hip forward to get a little hip flexor quad stretch. If you're able, bring that foot up. If not, you can rest it on the couch or a chair. And if you can, put that hand back. Tilt that hip forward. Push your shoelaces into your hands while you're also pulling it up. Or push your shoelaces into the chair, the couch, whatever it is. You're gonna feel that stretch, not only through that quad, but around the top of the knee. So here, you can also do this lying on your side or your tummy. Let's go same thing, other side. Make sure you check out all the links in the description. Join us in the Body Fit Athletic Club. That is where you get all that extra support. You get access to me, you get access to our Body Fit Dietitian. You get a great supportive community all around the world. You get the Method Nutrition Plan. You get live events, Q and A's. It's all there. We would love to have you join us. So check that out. And of course, like this video, leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe. If you have a wall, I want you to push into that wall, but press that heel down to get a little calf stretch. We've got a lot of that calf 
work as well. Like this video, leave me a comment, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Let's switch that, push that heel back. So look like this, just pushing into the wall helps you increase that calf stretch. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found that fun. I hope you felt like it went fast. Even though it was tough to not have those breathers, remember that the next time you're pushing through your next workout or whatever it is, it is in you. You have that endurance. You train for conditioning. You are stronger than you think. Let's get one big deep breath in. And out, you did it. That was your cardio conditioning hit workout. Great job, everybody.